Well, this is a plainly a natural from the sweetness and the fruit, I would say, unless it's a particularly fruity honey coffee, but it, it's not a, a standard washed, I don't believe. Delicious. It's a very nice natural. It kind of a, has that sort of cherry, a clean, understated cherry chocolate, uh, chocolate covered cherry kind of, uh, you know, those candies that used to have when I was a kid, at least. Uh, they had a little brandy in them and sugar and cherry and a dark chocolate on around all of that yeah. you know I don't I think yeah. they've gone out of style those candies but <laughs> they may come back if they're like this <laughs> but you know it's all coffee too it's not as though it's a flavored coffee I mean that it's very no, distinct no. Yeah. but uh, yeah. it's embedded or wrapped in the uh, classic coffee uh, uh, structure and aroma Mm. A little Scum. less impressive. Well, what do you think? I'm I'm liking what I'm having. It's very nice. It's uh, you get the um, the fermenting yeah. character in the in the cup that it, that you don't that I didn't get much in the nose, kind of a alcohol. Um, well, let's not call it alcohol. Let's call it. Let's give it a name. Brandy, maybe. No, it's it's too early. <laughs> it's pretty nice, though. Pretty clean. Yeah. But you can imagine that somebody. What do you think that somebody would think if they said Columbia Coffee? They expected something like the previous two, and they got this one. I mean, this is a lot more pronounced. It, it's a statement. You know, it's making a, sta a louder statement. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's off the roadmap of some, I could see some, this is where what I meant about the if, probably the first two, but the uh, this is a coffee that um, some people would not like because it is it has got some unique qualities although I'm I'm really I'm enjoying it yeah Maybe I like it I like it a lot and it's a, a good it's a nice natural in the sense that it has the natural character the sweetness the fruit the chocolate a slight little fermenty edge but the point is it's uh, balanced ultimately it's not over the top it and uh, there's no trace of of, uh, of a kind of a uh, alcohol breath sort of thing or a rotten or anything negative it's a very uh, what we call a very clean natural a distinct natural uh, honest upfront natural but a a a, a clean one yeah lovely and uh, clean in the finish, right? Mm -hmm. The flavor, yeah. the flavor carries <clears throat> right through into the long finish, and the um, the structure remains balanced in the finish. We don't get any bitterness, excessive bitterness, or uh, drying astringency. It's not. It's sweet, but not cloyingly sweet. Very nice. This, co this coffee would do with, uh, uh, we should say to the audience that for these Columbias, we're not adding milk like we did with uh, dark roast coffees and may with other coffees, not testing it uh, with uh, half and half as well as black. But uh, this coffee, I think, would do very well with uh, a little bit of half and half. Oh, yeah. Well, it, certainly uh, has, stand up to it. Yeah, it <laughs> has character, and the yeah. very nice. Wow! Hard to stop yeah. drinking. No, th but I'll that put it that is the here. issue. Otherwise, 
You may never get another word in if I keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> if you like excess, I'm your I'm your buddy. The uh, uh <laughs> okay. Bird. El Porvenir Tabi. Our, it's, uh, our friends in San Diego. From, uh, Bird Rock. Yeah, Jeff. Uh oh, wash company. process. Yeah. Oh I, man. Ken, Ken, I'm, I'm sorry. I three three three, man. If Down if I could I you know cover the <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's all right. It's it, you know what's a No, man. you know there's something screw there's something deceptive going on here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Are are we doing a uh an expose? What is this? <laughs> well, you know, what does it say about the variety? Does it say anything about the Tabi oh. variety? Tabi is a, one of these newer varieties that people have been... Uh, uh, oh, so there, so there may be... But, no, this, but the, no, this no. character, this sort of uh, slightly uh, the kind of fruity, chocolatey, slightly yeah. fermenty character... Uh, would not come from the variety. It would have to come from the uh, processing method, it seems to me. Well? Okay. Well, by the way, I just have to say to anyone who thinks that sometimes I, uh, when we were talking about dark roasts, I mentioned some coffees are too lightly roasted, too. This coffee is just, man, they have it down. This is exactly where I think... <laughs> course they have it down because i like it it's it's where i think it should be roasted it's not uh, overly but it's a light roast but it's not it's it's certainly fully roasted it has yeah, a very nice mouthfeel too yeah just a just very a uh, kind of lightly syrupy and wow. plush yeah it's a superb coffee and uh i feel completely betrayed here because i know that there's something going on in the processing of this coffee <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that gives it this character. <laughs> so. well, I wouldn't have been able to tell. Absolutely. But I, I look up to you as thinking you usually can and, uh, when I can't get it. <laughs> well, not, not today. No, no. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, what a failure. You'll never listen are, to me again. Are we canceling him? Are we? No, yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, well, okay. you, 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 yeah, right. So long as you don't cancel me, you have to listen to we're me. Not, so We're not going to cancel I'll you. I'll just keep shooting right. my mouth off and uh, God, blowing okay. it, you know. <laughs> Well, that's the whole idea of the show, so that's fine. I tell you one thing we can say, this would be pure, pure speculation, that it's possible that the standard Columbia we started with was uh, mechanically, uh, mechanically washed, scrubbed rather than fermented. Uh, and it could be true of the second, the very quiet, Columbia too. But still in all, there's something going on in this coffee that I don't think you get in the classic wash process. I mean, there are all sorts of uh, experiments going on, like adding uh, wine yeasts to the ferment tank. Uh, and But usually that doesn't get, you don't get a wine-like character from that. You get actually a uh, what it does is the yeast, the special cultured yeast, sort of uh, control the ferment, so it's more consistent. But uh, so, but I I, I know uh, Jeff and his uh, wife very well at Bird Rock, and he's going to get a call from me tomorrow about <laughs> finding out about this coffee. <laughs>